I'm Troy Kirby with MLT News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. The Senate Early Learning and K-12 Education Committee heard public testimony on Substitute House Bill 1363, addressing secondary trauma in the K-12 workforce. The bill passed the House on February 25th by a vote of 58-40 and would need to pass the Senate in order to make its way to the governor's office for a signature to become law. Um, and yes, uh, I am a school counselor and a mental health counselor. Um, and so uh, secondary stress and trauma it are issues that I deal with on a regular basis. This bill came about as uh, more and more research and more and more stories from my colleagues and um, other teachers and uh, staff working in our educational system across the state shared their stories with me. As we, we continue to see teachers who break down in classrooms and start crying or have to take leave of absence or have to take sick days due to the pain of dealing with trauma on a regular basis. They have seen everything from uh, and walk in the in the pathway with our students around issues of of uh, divorce, of illnesses, uh, of of um, mental illness. I know the weight of compassion fatigue, but I am trained for that, right? But our educators are experiencing high rates of mental health issues from their students and are not adequately prepared for the effects that this has on their own mental health. Our educators um, often are the first people to recognize symptoms in our students. So they're dealing with students who are suicidal, who are self-harming, who have been sexually assaulted or abused. Uh, we believe the solutions presented in this bill will help during regular school years and especially during this pandemic. As a quick reminder, this bill has been before you in various forms over the last few years. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by MLT News, covering the 2021 legislative session.